It's 2 a.m. and you've got a case of the munchies. You can't possibly spend more money on Uber Eats. So you look into the fridge, desperately rummaging through something to satisfy your cravings. Garlic hummus, always a solid choice, but there's a fuzzy black spot of mold on it. Hmm, just two months past the expiration date. This should be okay, right? Just scoop it out and the rest should be salvageable, right? Now, before you get dipping, keep your spoons where we can see them. On the menu today, we talk about what really happens to our bodies if we eat expired foods. Plus, we set the record straight on what you should definitely not eat past its best before date and what you can probably get away with. Plus, did we mention we answer all of your questions on mold? But before we get into that, you know, into the tasty stuff, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be alerted on all of our videos on your queries, food related or not. Now, back to our main course. It's important to establish some vocabulary when it comes to terminology and phrases on expired foods. They all seem like they mean the same thing, but there are important differences to note. For example, sell-by date refers to the date when the store will discard the item. The best before date refers to the quality and taste of a product. If this date is present, it means that this food is guaranteed to be its best and freshest quality by this day. Then the use by date refers to the last safe date before your food starts to turn bad. This doesn't mean that the very next day the product is poisonous. It's just a marker to show when the food degrades to a lower quality and potentially dangerous state. So is food that has passed its best before or use by date all that bad? According to nutritionists, not really. The only food that has an actual expiration date regulated by the FDA is baby formula. Every other food item gets that date stamped on to notify customers when the item will stay fresh and nutritional. But even then, it turns out that the taste or smell of a food doesn't necessarily mean that it's contaminated with a bug or that it's going to make you sick. The actual process of food decay, a process that mixes food with things like heat, oxidation from exposed air, or other enzymes, won't actually make you sick with a bacterial or viral illness. But you might feel some discomfort or even get an upset stomach. But in general, nutritionists agree that food past its expiration date is safe to eat. In fact, a grocery store in Chicago exclusively sells unopened packages of past date food. Ah, but before you go charging for that carton of eggs that you bought a month ago, there are certain items that you should definitely avoid if they are past their expiration date. Eggs, for example, are the most common cause of foodborne illness due to salmonella. The maximum you should keep eggs in the fridge is for two weeks. Mixed greens, like spinach, packaged lettuce, spring mix, and arugula, can spoil quickly and be covered in disease, including E. coli bacteria. Some other foods to look out for are deli meats, oysters, fresh berries, and soft cheeses like brie. But what about mold? Accidentally eating a piece of moldy food can turn a look at me eating leftovers like a responsible and frugal adult moment into a geez louise I don't feel too hot pretty quickly. But is consuming some of that blue fuzzy stuff really all that bad for you? The short answer is no. You're probably not going to die from eating mold. You'll digest it like any other food and as long as you've got a relatively healthy immune system the most you'll experience is some nausea or vomiting. That being said, this stuff is definitely not good for you. And if you're allergic to mold, yep, that's a real allergy out there, then it can bring severe discomfort and include symptoms like irritation of the eyes, nose, and throat. But can't you just cut the mold off the food? Although it may be tempting to simply rip off the moldy bits in the interest of not wasting food or money, there's really no guarantee that you are removing the whole fungal infection by doing so. Better to err on the side of caution by cutting too much rather than too little, or better yet, Toss the whole thing out. So we've established that eating foods past the best before date and even some moldy foods are not entirely bad. In certain cases, you don't always need to waste food and much of it can still be redeemed. Take the dad from Maryland who spent an entire year eating expired foods just to prove the point that these dates are more suggestions than firm facts. He ate everything from gyro tortillas to meat that was weeks past the sell-by date to even romaine lettuce that had been recalled due to E. coli, and he turned out fine. The point of all this? To make a statement about those arbitrary sell-by dates. So, foodie, we answered your questions, and turns out food is meant to nurture us more than end us. But maybe it is time to empty out that fridge. Open every jar, check every expiration date. Yep, get those corners and cabinets too. That's it, get your nose up in there. Smell it all. 
At the end of the day, your stomach knows best. So if your first instinct is to make your breakfast from this morning reappear, then it's probably a bad egg and you should toss it out. You've got this, Brainiacs. Later.